Malcolm Douglas, the original crocodile hunter, has died in a car crash in Western Australia. The 69-year-old's four-wheel drive hit a tree on his property at Broome early this morning. Long before Steve Irwin, there was Malcolm Douglas. In Broome in the 1960s, he went from crocodile hunter to saviour, campaigning for their protection. I wanted to save him from getting shot at. I wanted to educate the public. As filmmaker, he shared his passion for adventure and the Australian bush, especially his beloved Kimberley. He was given a tribal name and taught the significance of traditional ceremonies. His pioneering 1964 documentary, Across the Top, the first of 50 specials. G'day, I'm Malcolm Douglas. The 69-year-old was still making television. How's that for a mackerel? Hey? This we new show for Channel 7 was ready to air next month. I want to get out of this mud because this is a good way to attract crocodiles. In the 80s, he opened his crocodile park, where earlier this year a man was bitten after jumping on Fatso. I'm just getting to open his mouth. There he is there. His latest project, a wilderness wildlife park and animal refuge near Broome. That's where he was driving early this morning when his vehicle crashed into a tree. I would like to think that people remember me as a person that's protected the Kimberleys. He leaves behind a wife, two children and the legend of a true bush character. Paul Caddack, 7 News. <laughs> and as a tribute